Hi, I'm Dr. Rittner. We're in an ultrasound room. This is a standard ultrasound room that we have here in the Brigham Women's Imaging Center. Uh, typically, we bring patients into the ultrasound room for evaluation. Uh, sometimes if they have a palpable finding on physical exam, either that they or their doctor can feel. If we see masses on a mammogram that we then want to get an ultrasound of to see if it's a cyst or a solid mass. We also use ultrasound to visualize masses uh, for needle localization to then go to the operating room and have surgical excision and also to guide ultrasound guided biopsies of mass lesions. So the first thing we do to evaluate a lump is we have the patient show us where they're feeling the lump or where their doctor felt the lump. And then we mark that area on the patient right where they indicated it was. Okay. Patient positioning is very important. So very typically we have the patient put their arm above their head and we have the patient roll away from the side that we're examining to flatten out the breast tissue so we can get a, a better examination all the way through the breast tissue to the chest wall. So I'm going to have you just roll up onto your left side away from me. Excellent. Then with ultrasound examination, we always want to use uh, an ultrasound coupling gel that we need uh, in order to uh, re eliminate any air barrier between the ultrasound probe and the skin so the ultrasound beam can penetrate into the tissues. And then this is the ultrasound transducer, and it's a high-frequency transducer that we typically use to see in thinner tissues like the breast tissues. And we scan right over the area that the patient indicated or in the area that the mammogram indicated that there was an abnormality. And we look on the ultrasound screen to try and identify exactly where the abnormality is. And so in this patient, we see a mass. And so typically when we see a mass, we want to take pictures. We want to document whether it's solid or cystic. We always want to get color flow to see if there's any internal vascular flow that would indicate a solid mass. We always want to get measurements of the mass in multiple dimensions. And we also want to accurately document where exactly the mass is so it can be found when the patient comes back for another visit, possibly for a biopsy, also under ultrasound guidance. So patients with this sort of a finding end up getting scheduled for a biopsy. They'll return to the department at a different time for the biopsy, and the biopsy will be performed right here in the ultrasound room under ultrasound guidance. And we use the, the same procedure, we use the ultrasound probe to localize the area, and then we use a sterile technique, we clean the entire area, we mark the area, we get the patient local numbing medication, much like patients have at the dentist before they have a dental procedure. And then we use the ultrasound, we can visualize the needle as the needle goes into the lesion and we take approximately five samples of the lesion and send it to the pathologist and then the pathologist can tell us what the, what the mass is and if the patient needs to have further surgical excision or if it's a benign finding and we can just watch the patient.